Damn it, Roy, you need to get off your ass and write me something good. The stuff you've been turning in lately is pure shit. Gus, I am telling you, I'm on the tip of one of the biggest stories of the year. I just need two more. Two more what? Weeks, days, minutes? I don't employ journalists based off their feelings. I employ journalists for the work they do. What work have you done? Are you serious? You're already forgetting who it was who got you the scoop on that drug cartel story? In Inside the... the senator's office. Hell of a good story, Roy, yeah. But that was months ago. And we're still cleaning up the legal mess you caused from the way you got your information. Gus, we almost sold out of copies that week. <sighs> the truth is, Roy, you haven't handed in anything good in months. The missing homeless people story? Really? What? That's a solid story. Roy, look. I don't need one-hit wonders. I need a reliable stream of articles. Floating on the success of past stories will ultimately drown you. Hey, I am reliable, okay? I swear to you, the dots are connecting. I just need a little more time, two weeks. If I don't have a solid story for you by then, I'll save you the trouble. I'll quit myself. You got one week, not two. Thank you, Gus. You won't regret this. Don't you have a story to discover? Get the hell out of here. It's like you weren't a little worried you wouldn't get to see this around anymore. Maybe, until you did that. Where were you earlier anyways? Some of us actually have to work in order to keep our jobs. What does everybody think I do around here? Well then, where were you earlier? Let's just say I was following up on a few leads. Expecting something? Hoping. For? My contact. Well, I'm going over there anyways. I can just grab yours. You're not afraid the mailman's gonna try to get your number again? I was just gonna give me your number. Ah, uh, whatever. Well, we can go get a drink down the street in an hour if you want. I think I might have to rain check. I'll catch you later, Luce. This might be the lead I've been looking for. All right, well, good luck. What are you doing here? It's one o'clock in the morning. John, I got a real problem. 
Oh, well, don't tell me this has anything to do with that case you've been going on at home. Sound like that, John. Oh, really? Because I can't deal with another senator case. And Roy, so help me God, if I find out you're forging another one of my signatures, I'm coming after you. John, I saw a man die. Sit down. Start talking. Three weeks ago, I received an anonymous letter from someone claiming they had information regarding something big. They didn't really give me much, but they told me to keep an eye out for the next letter. I thought, probably just somebody in the office playing a prank. Until? Until I received another letter a couple weeks later. Three names. Claire Atkins, Xavier Langley, and Brooke Estrada. I looked them up, but I couldn't find anything that linked them. When I went to their homes, they weren't there. I thought, okay, it's probably just bad timing. Then I see a letter at Miss Atkins' place with a post date mark that verified she was Please don't say. missing. You even know that. Just hear me out, okay? I noticed Miss Atkins' door was cracked, so I took a peek inside. There was mold food all over the countertops. Her luggage was packed away neatly in her closet. John, she wasn't planning on leaving. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you telling me you broke into a woman's apartment and looked around in her stuff? John, she was... Wait, wait, wait. What about this man you supposedly saw die? Where the hell is he? I don't know. Okay? By the time I made it back there, he was gone. I don't know, he was probably dragged off or something. Probably by the guys who did it in the first place. Look, I know I sound crazy right now, John. But you gotta believe me. Damn it, Roy. You just don't get it. How the hell am I supposed to respond to a ludicrous story like that with no evidence to support it? You tr trust in me. <laughs> oh, really? That coming from the kid who just admitted to breaking an injury? You're lucky if I don't file a report on you right now. Come on, John. I'm just trying to find the people who did this so I can figure out what the hell is going on. That's not your job, Roy. Your job is to stay behind the pen and paper. My job is to find the people. I find the people, and then you write about how good of a fucking job I'm doing. You got that? Do your fucking job. Roy, wait. Look, I'm sorry. The only people I can legally go searching for are the ones whose names appear in the files that come across my desk. I know you're trying to do the right thing. I'm just looking out for you. Come on, man. It's me. You and I have been like brothers since the night we met all those years ago in that police station. And I know you're hard-headed ass well enough to know that no matter how much I yell at you. You gotta keep after this. Someone has to look for them, John. Yeah. Well, if everything you're saying is true, and you do find them, you might regret it. Then I'll have you right there to say I told you so. You gotta get going. Yeah, one of us actually has to deal with these things called deadlines. Yeah, but try talking to me when you have to deal with actual dead people. Stay out of trouble, Roy.